Hi folks, welcome to BBI Design's Water Pressure Regulator System. I just wanted to explain to you how it works and what its function is. So we're going to go ahead and use my 1979 Hondo Jet Boat to show you how it's installed and uh, how to monitor everything. So basically the function is to relieve the water pressure that builds up inside your engine. And many of the older jet boats, um, you'll find that there's been many issues with it blowing freeze plugs, blowing intake manifold gaskets, blowing head gaskets, etc. And what we've done is designed our own water pressure relief valve system to relieve the pressure in the engine so that that doesn't occur. So basically, if you were to take and put a water pressure gauge on your boat, and that's what we've done right here, is put it on the front of the intake. So a 0 to 30 PSI water pressure gauge and you were to monitor your pressure in your engine um, right now without our relief valve system you would find that the water pressure in your engine well exceeds the recommended factory settings which would be 15 PSI. Um, in my own personal boat when I would gun on the throttle my water pressure would jump up to almost 25 to 30 pounds per square inch. Um, and again, the maximum that you're supposed to have in an engine is 15 PSI. So, like I said, what we've done here is installed a water pressure gauge, and you can do the same thing with your engine. And then, um, you come back here, you'll see our water pressure relief valve system. And uh, that's it there. You have a gate valve, and it goes into our T valve system. Um, the T valve here down here runs down here's the water that goes into your engine so the water comes in through your jet back there into your gate valve and you can adjust the water pressure coming into your engine through that and try to uh, the best way to do this is what you do is run your engine at idle um, get your your temperature between 160 and 180 using the gate valve once you've adjusted your idle then you have what's called a relief valve right here and this relieves the pressure when it exceeds 15 pounds of pressure in your engine and this is what keeps the pressure from your in, from inside your engine from building up. Now again the water comes in through your jet or uh, into the engine right here through the T and this hose here is what goes directly into your engine. Okay then this valve re is a uh, color relief valve again and it relieves the pressure going in um, into your engine. And uh, there's a you can unscrew this cap right here, and there's a screw inside here, and this makes it adjustable. So you can raise or lower the pressure um, inside your engine basically by adjusting this valve here. I've preset it at 15 pounds, um, 15 psi. So when the water pressure inside your engine um, exceeds 15 psi, the the valve inside here opens and it relieves the pressure. So the pressure inside your engine should never exceed 15 psi. Now I'm using a half inch um, hose going into my per my engine, so I have a half inch fitting here and a half inch fitting here. Our kit, you can re replace this valve right here or this hose. Um, you can run the half inch, the five eighths, or the three quarter inch hose, depending on what hose you run for your particular engine. Um, so when you order the kit, you'll just specify which size hose you're running, and I'll give you the correct fitting to go here, so that you're running the right. Uh, fitting for your engine. This fitting here is half inch, and it'll come. We our our complete kit comes with a um, a spill valve uh, or spill valve connector, which is just a connector that goes to the back of your engine. Um, on my own personal boat, I spent the extra money and I bought a nice chrome <coughs> spill valve, and these are the spill valves. This one's for my um, exhaust system because I have headers, and this one would be for the relief valve. Um, and we've we've included a uh, just a simple plastic half inch spill. Um, it's just um, if you want to go fancy and get the chrome, you can spend the extra money and buy one of those from Dana Marine or uh, uh, Rexmar um, and some of the other um, jet boat shops um, through the internet. So we're trying to keep our costs down for you guys um, and just give you what you need to get to get going. So. Uh, that's our system. It's real simple. It just connects directly into the jet drive in the back. Um, I'm using a half inch pipe tube from the jet to the um, gate valve. And uh, some of the jets will just come with a barb fitting directly from the jet and a hose connected to it. So you may have to um, unscrew that 
fitting from the back of your jet and then um, get yourself a pipe tubing. The other option you have is just to run a piece of hose from the jet there um, directly to the gate valve and you'll just replace the uh, the connector that goes to the back of the gate valve with just a regular um, barb fitting. That's how our system's put together and uh, it works very well. I'm able to um, actually help maintain the water um, temperature as well inside my engine. Um, like I said at idle, I'll get, go ahead and set it about 160, um, and then at full throttle, I only have about uh, 13 to 14 pounds of pressure the way I've set it up by adjusting the valve, um, the relief valve. Um, I'm able to maintain my water pressure at, at um, cruise at about uh, 140 to 150 degrees. So not only does it help relieve the pressure, which is its main function, but it also helps um, keep the water temperature inside your engine at a more level um, degree so you don't have it going from full cold to full hot which is also not real good for your engine so it serves two functions but its main function is to keep the water pressure inside your engine from exceeding 15 pounds so anyway that's how it works and I uh, hope that helps